A lot of people don't really know how to build Herald of Thunder or Herald of Agni, and they're just flipping out over these reservation changes because of increases in mana cost, which admittedly do do some things, but honestly they're not build breaking, especially if you go with this setup. So I'm using a Crest of Desire in this Herald of Thunder Elementalist, and actually from 3.14 to 3.15, I think my DPS went down something like 1%. It's almost no difference. So Crest of Desire gives you double damage on the Socketed Gem, and it gives you plus 8 levels to Socketed Gem, which is really good for Herald of Thunder, which pretty much scales almost exclusively with gem levels and then some elemental modifiers because things like area damage and spell damage don't really work for it. Um, the build was relatively cheap as far as the setup goes. I'm not really using anything in particular. Um, I didn't even have a proper anointment on this, which is you know a pretty big increase, especially because it lets you generate frenzy charges while mapping. Um, you can use things like an anomalous blood rage later, but there's a POB kind of in the description. I ran out of space to make basements, so you guys get this really fucking long link instead. In general, I think this is really good though. The elemental setup for Herald of Thunder is like a lot squishier than Inquisitor. Um, it's something people do a lot, but the nice thing about elemental is that your radius targeting is super fucking high. And you can see in this clip, I'm not using any flasks. That's not an adrenaline quick silver, so I'm not like cheating or anything. And you still can run a silver flash, which helps out with your clear. It's just a really consistent build, and I think I'll probably at some point be rolling this. This might actually be the first character I make. It depends on what I end up doing for my league starter, and it's sort of gonna be a snap decision at the end of today, slash the start of tomorrow when I start playing. <clears throat> Otherwise, I think that people are really underrating how good Crest of Desire is in general. It lets you run not only Aspect of the Spider, which is something you had to drop with the 6 link setup with, say, Assassin or Inquisitor. It also lets you run Arctic Armor, which is something that's been lost in the sauce. Because people can't run the anomalous Arctic Armor to permanent freeze bosses. But that doesn't mean the gem isn't good still. And I think, honestly, the bossing DPS... Yeah, it's a little bit low, but the thing is, when you're playing auto bombers, you actually have 100% uptime. It's not even like you have a dot to maintain, you just walk around. Um, you can literally see me standing here against this Minotaur, and it's super, super fucking chill. You just gotta not get hit. And when you don't have to target, and you don't have to apply anything, it's much easier to not get hit. Honestly, it might be the move. 